Henrik, first of all, what's different in the squad this year to last year? When, when you consider that it's nine of, nine of the 11 who were at Wembley last year are still here. Well, I would say that's a, that's a tiny bit more experience. Um, we've all grown, grown one more year, and I think that's, um, that's a lot for some of the young players especially. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably the difference. In terms of the disappointment from last year, how much will that, in the day or the hours leading up to the game, how much will that drive you on? Um, we, we, we try not to think too much about that and just keep the joy and the excitement that we have in the squad uh, th this year and just focus on where we are now and not what happened in the past. What, 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 what players do personally, I can't, what, I can't say uh, if, if, if that's what they need to look back at to, to like really drive them. Um, but me personally, I just, I just want to play on Saturday. Just go out and have fun and enjoy. This is, this is why we play football. This is to play the big games and uh, the big decisive games. It's a bit like, like, like the World Cup. You want to play those games. That's, that's where the fun is. You don't look like a man who's under pressure. You know what, I don't feel I'm on pressure. Uh, again, I think we've, we've done fantastic so far. Uh, to be here again is a, is a huge achievement. Um, I have a fantastic uh, group of players behind me, next to me, friends. So we're just ready to go out and just play football again, again have some fun and just not to worry too much. I think that's, that's, maybe that's what hit us last, last year. We, we got scared of scared of winning or scared of losing instead of yeah that taking over so um the the, the vibe in the squad is, is different this year it it, it 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 just it just feels more relaxed and more calm so how do you deal with that fear how do you deal with that the being scared of winning um well i think the pressure from the media is is one of the big things uh, and 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 also we, we, we saw how to tackle it uh, last year and uh, yeah, hopefully we're in a better position this year. That's, that's, that's the aim. I'm not the first person, I probably won't be the last to tell you that Brentford have been in the playoffs ten times and they've never made it through. <clears throat> Is that anything at all that comes into the psyche ahead of this game? Not at all. Not at all. We, one time has to be the first and that's going to be on Saturday. And in terms of the manager, I mean, he's always someone that only looks at a positive what has he given you that can he be a positive ahead of this game with Swansea you played him twice already this year very tight games both won all draws um, yeah uh, we know it's going to be a tough 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 game um, again we, we try to focus on ourselves I know it's a cliche but but I, I honestly believe that if we hit our top level then we're going to be really really hard to beat and that's that's the only thing we focus about. Obviously, there's an, there's an opponent, but if if we if we make it right, then I'm sure we will we'll make it. Just a couple more. You you moved to this new stadium. Everything about Brentford, which never before said it deserves a crack at the Premier League, now says it deserves a crack at the Premier League. The manager, the squad, the stadium. Is is there a feeling, a little bit of a feeling that? Having gone last year and just failed, having gone the year before and just failed, if it doesn't happen this time, maybe for a lot of players, you yourself included, maybe the dream of the Premier League might be somewhere other than Brentford. Uh, I would know because that's not, not something we, we, we've been thinking about at all. Um, all focus is on, on, on Saturday and what happens after Saturday, we just have to, have to deal with that after. We... Um, Again, we just want to go out and just have fun, uh, go out and attack. And um, if we make it, we make it. If we don't, then we'll deal with that after. Finally, there is one more key component that's going to be different on Saturday to last year. Last year, it was on an, an evening in an empty stadium. <laughs> I mean, it, it felt anything like a £150 yeah. million pound game of football. <laughs> <Agreed>. <laughs> at, at least there will be somebody there this year. It might not be enough fans for everybody's liking, but there will be some fans. How much of a key part will they play? You would have seen the cup final. You would have seen other games in the, in the last, but you, you've had one game here with fans. How much of a key component could that be for you in turning your fortunes? Well, hopefully it will, it will give everyone energy. Even the Swansea players, I think it will give some, some energy. We, could, we, could, we felt that last time we played here, it was, just, it was amazing. And you just, it was just so positive. You wanted to crack on and just 
that next tackle, you wanted to win it because you know the crowd will be ready. Um, so it's it's hopefully it's going to be a little bit the same, even though there might not be that many. Um, we will be able to hear them uh, compared to last year. So it's it's going to be amazing. Hopefully, hopefully they will allow more in, but uh, I, I doubt they'll make it. Good luck. Give me a score prediction. I don't care as long as we win. Thanks, Ian. Hi, Henry. Um, just referring back to, as you say, the experience of last year and maybe looking and analysing the pressure that, that possibly was felt. The experience of having been at Wembley in that circumstance, will that be of use this time round? Because you're going to a ground that you've, as a group, got experience of playing in? Yeah, well, I really hope so. Um... I, again, the, the the vibe around the club just feels more relaxed uh, than than last year, and I think we have just. Uh, I'm not saying we have to do it differently. We just do what we've done all season, which I think is the key key part. We're just having fun. People are playing table tennis uh, after we're done training. Just just relaxing, just chilling, and having fun. Um, so, and then again, we do have one more year of experience, so I think that's going to be key. And as a group, there have been obviously exits from last year. Oli and 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 um, Said obviously left, and and Ivan's come in, and Vitali has come in, has done very well in in the middle of the park. But in essence, it's quite a a core of the group that was here last year. Has that helped with the with the team spirit? Has that helped with the culture that you've developed here as a group? Um, yeah, definitely. Like, and also the the players we've brought in have just adapted really, really quickly. Um, and. Yeah, we can see Christian got injured. Just Vita just stepping straight in. That honestly, that surprised me that he was able to just reach that level that quickly. So uh, that's the kind of recruitment we have. That's the kind of players that we recruit. So it's 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 just amazing to work with. And obviously, it's it's good that we didn't change ten players from from last season. So uh, so yeah, obviously, that's going to be a positive thing for us. Mm. Um, and. You you talked about last last weekend great atmosphere in here with just you know ex, not full but it felt like it was full. Yeah. The nature of, of winning that game or the or the tie against Bournemouth, um, the 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 delight on everyone's faces at the end of the game is that. How much of a momentum do you take from that that sort of fight back? Well, we we, we try to take all the positive things we we can from that game and the the drive the men, momentum uh, we had and again for me the joy of playing football because you can just see you could see it in everyone's eyes. Obviously, we want to win. That's the that's the main thing. But you could just see everyone was happy. The pitch was perfect. Uh, the weather was perfect. Uh, fans on the on the stands. It was it was perfect. That's that's what we want and that's what we're looking for on uh, on Saturday as well. Uh, and Thomas talks about creating the culture here, sort of, sort of the the confident yet humble, the hungry yet humble, um, and, and also he talks about twenty four hours to celebrate or twenty four hours to commiserate, and then just get on. That that culture that's been built by Thomas and the, and the coaching squad and the leadership group, how has that been important to to what you've achieved over the last couple of seasons? Two third place finishes, more points this year than last year, you know, more less less defeats, you know, goals still being scored. All those. How important are the elements away from just what you do in the 90 minutes on the pitch as I, as I just said people are having fun after training they're staying staying two three four hours just playing table tennis or just talking having a coffee I think I think that's really really important for us that that culture uh, and that's something we have really been pushing since especially since since Thomas took over um, and obviously the leadership group is, is, a, is a big part of that um, Trying to help all the young guys, uh, but again, the recruitment is, is just it's just key as well because you don't bring people in who doesn't fit and who doesn't want to adapt to to, to the squad. And uh, you can you can say that Ivan's a star, but I don't really think we have any big stars. It's it's a, it's a one unit, and uh, yeah, the Brentford family. I know it's such a cliche, but uh, that that's how we feel, and that's. You just enjoy coming to work every day, and uh, yeah, that's a big that's a big part of it. And you talk about Ivan, maybe people because of the goals, but he rolls his sleeves up or rolls his socks down, whichever it is. But he he seems to like the scrap as well. I mean, that's that's he's not a player shy of that. Whichever penalty area he's in, it, does that typify that that spirit that you need to succeed? I think that's the perfect example. Uh, everyone's ready to. 
I'm gonna say break a leg, but uh, really just go in to take a tackle. If that's a left winger or that's a central defender, it doesn't matter. We're all ready to, to fight for each other. And players, finally for me, really, the, there are players who are, are gonna miss out, who have been an important part of the last couple of years, injuries that have kicked in. You know, we, we saw Christian miss out last week as well, late on, just before kickoff, and Rico's been struggling. You've just come back from injury as well, and, and Josh in the middle of the park. Um, but how much of a role does, uh, does the group play? How much of the role will they play? I know Christian gave the, gave the speech, didn't he, before last, last weekend's yep. win. How much do the players who aren't even out on the pitch still sort of lead into that and, 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 and drive into, into the group as a whole? Yeah, that's a funny thing. Even though you're injured, you're still like part of the family. So, so they're really trying to push you and encourage you. And, and, and obviously, they're going to be there on Saturday. And, and I know Josh has been out in training, limping out there, just uh, trying to give a give a small speech. So uh, he really he wants it just as much as the guys on the pitch. And that's 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 yeah, it's so important for us. And finally, then it's ninety minutes, and it's going out there with a smile on your face. Whatever the rewards are at the end, you have to forget about that. Is that is that the message? Is that basically what you're you're saying and what the, what the, is coming of, of, across? Of course you have to. Of course you have to to think about the rewards because that might drive you just give you that extra 10 percent. But the main thing is going to be just just go out and have fun and make sure we do everything possible to to to, to do well. And then if we hit our top level, then again I'm, I'm I really hope that we're going to make it. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Henrik. Hi. Um, as has already been mentioned, you've heard, got a long list of former teammates who have gone on to the Premier League. When you see Neil Morpai and Ollie Watkins playing there, does that sort of fuel your desire further to, you know, to join them? Uh, yeah, of course. Because uh, you can see that the gap might not be as big as you once thought. Um, that players performing in Brentford can definitely do well in, in the Premier League as well. So, so yeah, definitely. And you're going to be 32 this this summer. Do you sort of feel like it's maybe your maybe your last chance to get there? Um, I haven't really thought about that. I don't feel 32. <laughs> let me put it that way. Um, well, again, we our main focus is going to be on Saturday. What and then then we take it take it from there and uh, see what happens. But yeah, it could be a tough tough discussion if uh, if we make it. And on a slightly separate uh, subject, the Denmark squad was obviously announced this week, and, and you weren't in it. How how did you um, feel when that was announced, and, and was that to do with with your injury? Um, I don't think it has anything to do with my injury. Uh, he just chose another player, um, so yeah, obviously that hurt, and uh, it still hurts. But I'm trying to to turn it around, and uh, hopefully he's watching the game on uh, on Saturday, and I'll, I'll I'll go out and prove him wrong. Would get into the Premier League with Brentford? Would that make up for that disappointment? Yeah. Great. Thank you.